All of the pussy was bad back then, dude. All of the pussy was bad back then. Think about it, man. Fucking 10,000 BC, you think people were laying... Pu you think fucking hunters knew how to do the fucking leg trick when they're in missionary? 100%. They did not. 100%. They, did, they for sure did not. There's, there was nothing else to do back they were then, three, but fuck, they, they figured were, it out. No, dude, they were three pump chumps, and you know that, no. right? Mm -hmm. This isn't India. No, 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 this is not India. This is Canada, all right? Is that, is that racist? No. No, indigenous people fuck now. But back then, they weren't laying pipes. You just call them Indians? I said indigenous. India? But you said we're not in India. Yeah, you said India. Yeah. Yeah, because India was where the Kama Sutra was created. Oh, yeah. okay, that's what yeah. you meant. Yeah. Yeah. They was fucking. I don't... I, fuck you. Welcome to Breaking Rules with the Ruckus Crew. I am Big Nasty L. Oh, I'm Logan. <laughs> um, I, I don't know if I'm sad from paperwork that I had to do for my car. Or uh, the alleged MDMA I did this weekend, but I'm Kim Lazar. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> that will be Danny in hopefully about 10 minutes. Hopefully. I'm, I'm going to start a timer, but fuck it. He said, fi ten, he said 10 to 15? 15, 15 to 20. To 15 to 20. But that was at 6, and it's 6.07. Uh, we'll see if he's still running on Africa time. Okay. But yeah, I'm tired too. We uh, allegedly, we're going to tell you a fictional tale about our weekend. We all, we all spent the weekend together. Yeah. Yeah. We uh, allegedly got a little uh, a chalet in Carlton Place. Had a little comedian getaway. It was comedian only. Yeah, and name this fictional place. We're talking about. We don't have to name the place. Carlton Place is fictional. Okay. Yeah. No. Yeah. There's no the e. There's no e in the Carlton Place that I'm talking about. Oh. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Actually, Kia's going to take over the story because you're going to give way too much fucking information as per usual. So, Kia, you take over the story. Sick. I like to party, and I invited 15 comedians out to a very expensive chalet. It was literally called Comedians and Cottages Doing Drugs, and I gave the full-on menu of everything you could do, <laughs> and we connected hard. Yeah, hard, <laughs> That was what dude. we did this weekend. We are planning to write. We got like an hour of writing done. I got three great premises to work with. Nice. And then the I rest wrote a whole new was, joke. Then we see, saw Tom Segura, and then which Bobby Lee opened for. That was fucking crazy. I got kicked out. <laughs> you got, did. Why did not you tell him why you got kicked out? Why did you get kicked out? Yeah. I got caught hitting my vape. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, was, I know. Yeah, I was, I was so mad, and I was just, I had nobody else to be mad at but myself. I, 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 I got got. Okay, you got my got. mother <clears throat> always said that I learned things the hard way, and I do. I vaped. I got caught. But the bullshit thing was, is we, we had really shitty seats. We were way high up, and then they, she's like, "You take a walk with me." I walked down. She goes, "You know what? This is your warning." I was like, "Sweet, won't do it again." Walk back up, sit down. Then she goes, "Actually, I talked to my higher ups. You have to leave." And I was like, son of a bitch. Why'd you make me walk up and down the stairs? <laughs> that was why he was mostly mad. Yeah. Like, if he got kicked out, that's one thing. He's like, she made me go the fuck upstairs and go back down again. Yeah, I've been on a walk with you. You can't go on a walk with it like 17 smoke breaks. So I understand. Because you couldn't hit your fucking vape Maybe while you were in. Yeah. yeah. Must have been. Yeah. By, like the, by like the sixth step, he was like, what the fuck? <laughs> 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 But Blowing uh, after, in the after that, <laughs> we, had, we had a great night. Yeah. Yeah. It was we good. had a fucking fantastic. I almost left. I was just, I was so upset with myself, but I ended up figuring out my mood, got it back. And then we allegedly did a bunch of drugs. Yeah. There was a moment there that everything almost turned upside down. The hot tub wasn't okay. First, there was everything was everywhere. There was a bunch of people coming that were sober and everyone was starting to trip super hard. Yep. And... Uh, so a bunch of sober people came and then the hot tub wasn't working. I was trying to text uh, the owners to fix the hot tub. And they're like, do you want my husband to come and fix the settings? I'm like, no, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> just, I was a text. Oh, I think I got it. Yeah. I was freaking the hell out. And, uh, I don't know what happened. You just changed the playlist. I'll tell you what up. happened. I fixed the fucking hot tub. That's not what fixed the night. We didn't even use the hot tub after that. What Nobody used the hot tub. It was Nobody great. did. Yeah, you fixed the thing that nobody used. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. Uh, yeah, that was cool. <laughs> we, I, uh, we just mixed a bunch of shit. We all bonded. We had so much fun. I love blowing everyone's mind after they did a whip it on psychedelics. 
they came back. Okay, dude, I gotta say, when it was twice when I took big ones, yeah, allegedly, and whip it, sorry. my yeah. hearing oh, wow. got distorted. Yeah. Like, like it was in a movie and yeah. I was like what the fuck is happening yeah it was so much fun though yeah it was, I feel so connected to everybody like no, I was like I was like civil to like good like good terms with everybody that was there you know yeah. but it, would, it wouldn't have been it would never have been like oh who can I call when I'm down like any of these people other than you guys like yeah. I, I wasn't at that level with mm-hmm. everybody else now I feel like we I feel like we bled together dude I feel like we <gasps> fucking cut our hands and shook Shook our hands, dude. We're blood brothers, dude. Brother, we got Logan to smoke a blunt. That was primal. Sweet. Primal, yeah, primal, dude. It was fucking primal <laughs> yeah, shit. I fun. smoke weed. Though. Like, I know I don't smoke in front of you guys. So no, that was that was event, cool. It was our first yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, dude. You hit a dab pen. You didn't just smoke weed. You hit. A... Oh, that's right. Yeah, dab, yeah, pen. Dude, oh, dab oh. pen. Twice. This fucking guy. How was that? How did that? Was it crazier than, or was it fine? No, it was fine. Yeah, oh, okay. I, I usually smoke a dab pen. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. never mind. I okay. Yeah. Shit. I was just. Did, I'm a fucking asshole. No, no. I was gonna let you just go, man. I, honestly. I, I was, yeah. yeah, that was a fantastic weekend. Yeah, yeah. Well, fun. We'll do that again next year. That was sweet. Yeah, I. As you notice, I didn't even bring any alcohol. I'm drinking a fucking electrolyte drink. Where yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. sober today, and for the next <laughs> while, actually, no, I'm just smoking lots of weed because. And and taking lots of five HTP. But we'd like to thank down, O'Kenny but. Craft Distillery for all the booze they gave us. Yeah. We still, yeah. yeah. You, Actually, where's wait, let's grab a bottle. Fucking just pop it up on the on the thing. I, man, I love Andrew. He's such a sweetheart. There we go. There we got here. O'Kenny Craft Distillery. You can find it at uh, uh, you can find it in Pembroke. They have a uh, you could just go to the distillery and visit. Honestly, it's worth the fucking road trip if you're in Ottawa. Uh, he's got a huge like tons of acreage on his property. He'll show you how he does the shit. He knows a lot about what he's doing. You'll get to see how he makes the whiskeys, the moonshines, everything. And if you can't bother to drive, if if you you can't get mommy's car for the weekend. You can't get some gas money, and a couple of your buddies can't go up to Pembroke. And there's a couple of stores in the uh, Valley area that you can go get uh, some o- uh, O'Kenny stuff, and uh, you can take that yourself. But honestly, it's worth the drive. And follow them on Instagram, O'Kenny Craft Distillery, uh, and uh, Craft Spirits, and all that good shit. It's really good. I, I, I like the vodka a lot. Smooth as fuck, dude. Smooth as mm-hmm. fuck. I think it's forty proof, like Grey Goose, but like ten dollars cheaper, fifteen bucks cheaper. Oh fuck, oh, yeah, man, it's nuts. So glad you stayed sober this weekend, cause yeah. you're gonna take this podcast away, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> when I was driving here, I was like, I don't even want to say a word. Oh yeah. I. That was great, cause every other time I've done. MDMA? Yes. It's been like, I, I was taking way too much. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it's like point three at a time to start. Yeah. But, but then just walking up to a plate, just like, like, when, when you're like, here, just take your finger. I felt like I was getting my fingerprints done. Because I'm like, how are we doing this? Where are the parachute papers? You're like, no, just, uh, and, then you, and then you just put my finger down. And you're like, I was like, oh, stay, uh, just stamp it. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I almost forgot the plate while we're cleaning up. That was the last thing I cleaned because I put it on top because I came back and this is after uh, one of the guys just puked everywhere. Oh, I got some on me. You got some on you? When he got up, I yeah. didn't, when we were laughing, it was it was when Hezron was going, ooh, that's what set off the puke. Because he was laughing? Because <laughs> he was laughing or what? No, no, he, he took a whip it. Yeah. And... <laughs> He did the oh, but he did it for really long. But Hezron puked. No, 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 no. The other guy puked. Oh, and, but when he, he was but, going home. Okay. Yeah. So then, but then the the joke was he hit he hit such a low tone that he figured out how to make somebody puke. Yeah. But I didn't realize he had puked. So when the guy got up, I, I thought he was spinning out his drink because he was laughing. Yeah. And then I got, someone was on my shoulder. I'm like, oh, hell, he's spinning out his drink. And then I'm like, oh, he's just making a trail. Oh, <laughs> I wasn't around for this. When he was cleaning it up, he kept stepping in it, and then I was just like, you're stepping in it. You're, you're, you're stepping in the puke. It was so good. So fine. Ugh. Did you when, see it? He kept doing this. He was just like... No, he, he, he looked a, so cute. Dude, he had... <laughs> he looked so cute. His face... His face was like a chihuahua that shit on the bed and knew he fucked up. <laughs> he was like... <laughs> yeah, it was so funny. But he was doing this without a shirt, soaking wet, he and was fully so, red. He was so... Yeah, he was so wet. He, dude, he looked like he showered. Yeah. He looked like he stepped in that. I was like, are you okay? <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Fantastic weekend. So funny. I missed all of that. 
Yeah, you were out on a walk. You missed so much in that like right, hour. Right. Thank God. And when you were gone, dude, dude, Hezzy was going hard on the whippets. Yeah, he probably. It's like four every five minutes. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> Jesus Christ. But that was, you know, that's definitely a once in a year type of trip. Oh, for yeah. sure. Like, yeah. Like, that's definitely. Like, I got home and told my girl everything I did. Yeah. And then she was just like, you know, whippets are bad for your brain. Right? Oh, my God. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> that's what I <laughs> blah, blah, blah. I can't wait to have a healthy working brain. Oh, in 30 years when uh, society collapses and we start eating people. Oh, I can't wait. No, I want dementia. To, what the fuck is this vibrating? I want dementia when I'm when the world is ending. Yeah. Ooh, what the fuck? Hi, you lovely people. And, and they yeah. fucking murder me. Bleh. Bleh. If the world ended, how long before you killed someone? You need to. Kind of rephrase. If the world, if the world ended, if society like, like, stops, if so, yeah, 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 whole, yeah. I don't have what, to go to my job. What and kind no of society? Like, like, like a, okay, it's Walking Dead without the zombies. It's Walking Dead without the okay. zombies. What is living. Walking Dead without the zombies? How well, does it end? Just some dystopian. Oh, fucking yeah. Why classless. am I killing anyone? Do I have to kill them for survival and safety, or am I just going out to find someone and murder them? Guys. Ah, you guys, crazy. Look at this psycho guys, fucking bad. He's don't like, get shit. on your moral high horse, all right? If all laws were taken away and we lived in some fucking weird- You mean like the purge? Post-nuclear war. I'm about to finish what I'm saying. If you're just fucking- We live in some post-nuclear society where all we- uh, No rules, nothing. Just fucking go and be amongst the bees. <laughs> I fucking hated my neighbors. You know? You know what? My old neighbor? I was to get to Orleans. How long? <laughs> Probably like 45 minutes. World ends. I catch an Uber because Ubers will still be working. I get there. The, the, the new neighbor has a gun license. Man, so maybe you, I can tell, his gun. you tell stories like a I can't girlfriend. wait. I can't Jesus wait to see what his fucking Christ. book looks like. Who cares about the Honestly. goddamn neighbor's neighbor? Just talk about the guy you want to kill. Patricia. And now we're gonna hear about Patricia. And he's no, gonna and not. he's also gonna give first names, last names, addresses, probably a sin number as well, because that's what this guy does in this fucking podcast, is just leak people's personal information. Who would you kill? Who would I kill? Yeah. I, if I have to, yeah. I have to kill you don't someone. Have to. Are you that hippie I that you wouldn't don't, be like? I don't know who the fuck I'd kill. I don't know anyone where I'd like feel satisfaction from seeing their life leave their body. But it doesn't have to be like I don't have like any mortal enemies. But it's just like you know, you see somebody like walking their dog, and the dog's like yippy, and they're on their phone, and you're like, I'd fucking strangle this guy. No strangling. I I couldn't strangle somebody. I could definitely just like I'd just blast shoot him. someone. Yeah, yeah. really. Just, just I'd shoot if, somebody. Could you, would you stab somebody? No, I could stab somebody. No, I, I, yeah, I couldn't do it. It would take a while. I, like that year two, year three of like the apocalypse. I, that's when you, that's when you'd see me. I'd be the guy from The Hills Have Eyes that eats people, like the one who like looks normal but is like breaking into people's campers and just like eating them. I probably, you know what? If I had a gun, I mean, yeah, that's just the easy way. But I would, I would, if I'm, if we're making like an event out of it, oh, I'm using, I'm using these hands. You're using your mitts, eh? I'm yeah. using these mitts. It's, yeah. Go to sleep. You, know? you just want to take a light? <laughs> <laughs> That's a I was just trying to come up with a cool topic on the podcast we can talk about, and now I'm feeling attacked. Listen, no, 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 no. Listen. It's, 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 oh, it's a shut topic. up. It's a I'm, and yeah, it's a, the topic is, you're fucking crazy. That's the fucking <laughs> topic, and I want to explore it. You Listen, kill? I'm not saying I want to kill anybody, but when opportunity knocks... You open the door. It's only polite. You know what I'm saying? How long would you wait before society class and you go kill someone? Immediately? No, no, it wouldn't be immediate. No, because I have there'd be like a grace period where I'd be like, oh, I can't, I can't watch porn anymore. I can't, I can't, I can't, oh, I want to get Uber. I want Uber unless I'm in Liam's apocalypse. Like you know, there'd be like that where I'd have to like adjust the settings. My but apocalypse then like, is dope. I think like the six month period is where you guys would be like. We gotta find Logan, you know. Assuming that this is the, we're the band of brothers, you know, mm -hmm. that we'd be like, oh, we fucking gotta find Logan. And then you like break in. So maybe you come up here. Maybe I'm here. I'm here at D at, at at Down to the Wire Studios. Um, and uh, you guys come upstairs, but all the lights are off, right? And the fucking these things are just swinging. And you see a hand, and you're like, is that Logan, right? And then it's just like it's just Jacob, <laughs> and he's he's just completely splayed open. 
like just like <laughs> just like that and then you're like what the fuck and you look to the side and i'm just going <laughs> and that's that's six months in six six months, six months. are you the one who killed six incredible. months before yeah yeah i've eaten them. i've eaten them. you didn't eat and, his hand and now and now i can i can edit video that's how that works you eat someone it's like a, it's like the kirby theory it's the Kirby theorem. Do you have to eat his brain or him ass first? No, no, no. you eat ass first for sure. Okay. Yeah, eat ass first, but then like, like all my victims, just the, I just leave the dicks out. Just a fucking corner, like a shelf full of dicks, because I'm not. Well, you need them if he's, yeah. You know, you know? Uh, I the most one of the most vivid dreams of my life, like top three definitely, was a, a guy trying to run me over in the car, and then I was able to get on top of the car and then just stab him through the window. And this felt so real. I could feel the knife going through his like rib cage and finding a spot to his like stomach and shit. And then car stops. He's dying. And then I'm just fucking carving my initials into his chest. I'm like, you motherfucker! How could you try to? What did I do? How could you try to kill me? I was so angry. And then everyone's like, whoa. Like I was surrounded by people that other people are trying to run away from. Everybody. Basically, he was trying to kill a bunch of us, and I killed that person. Everyone like kind of looked at me like, "Okay, yeah, well, dude, too far, chill, dude. Chill too the far. fuck out." That's fine. I had a because I've been kind of sick the past couple of weeks, and I don't know if you guys are the same, but when I get sick, my dreams get really vivid. Fever right. dreams. <clears throat> and the other night, I had this dream that I was in like I was in a house, and I was being chased around by different religious figures. Whoa, this is fun. This is so good. And one. like they were trying to kill me, and I couldn't get out. And I was just like running around and I like was half awake for part of it. And I just remember like, like seeing my wall and just going woo, 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 woo. like I was making noises in my sleep. And I, and then when I thought I could get out, a bigger religious figure came out. Like it would be like somebody like holding a cross or with the, with the, the, the thing here, you know, the collar. Yeah. Yeah. And shit. And it was fucking, it was terrifying. Did you get, get any Islam? No, no, uh, no, fuck. Praise be Allah. Yeah, no, it was all. Christian. So it was just just Christian and Catholic stuff. That's the one because Christ. That, that's the religion that freaks me out the most. There's not a lot of things in this world that I'm like genuinely freaked out at. No, you gotta read more about Islam, dude. <laughs> well, like, hate me, fuck off. Like religion creeps me out. It's very. It's, I just find it, it's like, do you? You know, but I, I just find it very cult like. Yeah. Yeah, the organized aspect of it for sure. Yeah, I think I'm, being spiritual is cool, but like, yeah. No, no, if you're spiritual, not that I'm one of those guys that like, I'm, I'm not religious. I'm spiritual. Oh, show me your yoni. I'm not one of those. But no, but like, I mean, the only like the spiritual thing that I like really do is I love to be shoeless, be one with the earth, you know, with your feet <laughs> in the grass. You know, you, like it grounds you and shit. Yeah, I guess you. Yeah, but religion creeps me out. Yeah. But did you ever grow up religious or anything? No, I went to Catholic school till third grade. Oh, oh. But I wasn't like I wasn't allowed to go to most of the church trips because I wasn't baptized and I wasn't raised religious. But my uncle, uh, shout out Will, you're, you're dope as shit. Uh, his wife is super religious and he's like a born again Christian. No, oh, yeah, they're usually recently found out that she's like an insane anti vaxxer. Not like the because I do you know your body your choice I believe in that but she is like. The five G airwaves, yeah, yeah, kind of person yeah. that has recently found. Yeah, that I can out. handle like people that don't want to get the vaccine. Like I, I don't argue with people anymore. But when it becomes like that, yeah, because it'll turn you into a lizard. It's like you're fucking stupid and don't have any real problems. That's what's <laughs> happening right now. You don't have any real problems and you are making shit up. Like no, no, no. It's 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 pro they're, it's their problems. It's depression and a bunch of shit you want to escape. So you spend too much time on YouTube and the internet, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and that. Then you can escape your own problems by going, well, your problems are because of the fucking lizards take the Jews, the Jew lizards spraying gold in the air trying to read my mind. And you're like, what? And it's funny they say that. It makes so much yeah. sense because like she homeschooled the kids. That was her yeah. job. And now she does this thing where she like buys things and then resells them. Like almost like a, like a. Like an antique type shit. I saw her office. It's like just like spending too much time on the internet. She probably watched. She's, some she's home all the time. Okay. And and yeah, she, it's it's craziness. But nobody else in the house is an anti vaxxer I mean, I only got vaccinated so I could do comedy. That okay. was the only reason I, I I got it. But uh, I remember my manager is super uh, COVID cautious, 
And a guy in our company is vaccinated now, but he wasn't at the beginning when they came out because he wanted to wait and see how it would play out, which was fair. And she didn't want him to come work with us at Hayes because he wasn't vaccinated. But like, if I'm vaccinated and you're not vaccinated and you're vaccinated, we have the same chance of giving him COVID. So I just didn't get that. But anyway, yeah, Logan. When was the last time you shaved your nuts? Here at Ruckus, uh, Ruckus Productions. When was the last not, time you shaved your nuts? We are not medical professionals. Most of us know the same information about vaccines that you do. When was the last time you shaved your nuts? I shave them often. I shave it like once, uh, once a week, once every two weeks. The nuts or just the pubes? No, no, I shave, I shave the nuts. How long does it take? Uh, about, about 10-ish minutes, 10, 15 minutes. You get, you get like down there? Like you fucking, like you, you get smooth and shit? Yeah, I try to be smooth. Try to be baby soft, baby. Really? Yeah, I try to be baby soft. I do baby soft on the pubes, but like the balls are a pain in the ass. They are a pain in the ass. Yeah, but what, you want your nuts looking like a fucking lollipop that was dropped on the carpet? Like... <laughs> Wait, there's a difference between like shaved and baby saw. Okay, I don't try to be baby saw. I don't wax or anything like that. No, wax, know, I, do you do you get a razor and try to shave it? Yeah, I shave the nuts. Are you like you're like you're pulling the skin and just fucking. Yeah, no, I have a technique where you just kind of cup the balls and then you yeah, go yeah, you yeah. go taint to yeah, taint yeah, yeah. to fucking. You can do it. Taint to scrub. When the hair taint grows back on the taint, dude, I can't focus on anything else. When I'm talking to you, it's never gonna be. A tr I'm never truly gonna listen to you because the entire time I'm thinking. <laughs> Yep, it's there and it's itchy and it's yeah. poking. Yeah, I have yeah. thick hair, dude. I have very thick hair. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You got a lot of ass hair. Uh, just the cheeks. Yeah, yeah. Not the too. not the cheeks. Sorry, just the crack, not the cheeks. Really? Yeah. I I have them on the cheeks a little bit. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, all my hair is condensed just to my chest. That's amazing. No back hair, nothing. Else Speaking of chest, hair. did you see Curly's fucking treasure trail? Curly's yeah. got oh a my hairy God. chest, dude. Yeah. Yeah, uh, hairy fucking. Good for him. Yeah, good for him is right. Yeah. Shout out Will Curly and your chest hair, man. That was fucking impressive. When I'm in my fucking sixties, I'm gonna need to like take some of his blood in order to synthesize testosterone because these must be fucking just cranking some out, you know? <laughs> just fucking cranking out the tea. <coughs> Will Curly, give him your cum. Yeah, yeah. Give me your cum. Curly. Give us your cum. We need the cum. Fuck yeah, dude. How do we get from organized religion onto Will Curly's cum? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's ruckus, uh, baby. Uh, Anti-vaxing. Right, right. That's right. right. That's how we got there. What's this right here? It's an amethyst. I'm not looking down. You, I, you almost got me again, and I wasn't looking down. <laughs> it's funny that I actually... this professional comedian here noses people. I do. He does the fucking what's that on your shirt, and then when you look down, he does that I'm like a fucking barbecue. Dad. They're, they're just mad because they always fall for it. Fucking yogurt head. Yeah, because I'm not expecting a fucking seasoned comedian to nose me like a fucking alcoholic uncle at your kid's barbecue. I think it's funny. Yeah. We are. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you get kicked out of fucking comedy shows. Yeah, this is why this you is, get fucking... No, I was for vaping. Was <laughs> <laughs> Nosing the fucking manager at Swizzles. It's all of a sudden he's banned at Swizzles. <laughs> I should have done that to the security guard. Fine, I'll leave. What's that? Yeah, what's that? <laughs> Wait, you're not security. Your shirt says boop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, fuck me, man. That was a fun weekend. It reminded me of uh, my favorite MDMA story. When I used to take like way too much. I was at partying at this apartment. And I was like, I need a towel. Can I have a towel? He goes, yeah, they're in the linen closet. So I'd put a towel on and I'd have it around or I'd wipe my face or whatever. And every time I would get, it would just get drenched in sweat. I would drop it. And then we'd go get another one because I knew what the linen closet was. Right, right. At one point, I used all the towels. So he comes out of wherever he was, and I'm somewhere in the apartment. And all I hear is somebody yell, Why are all my towels on the ground? Why are there so many towels everywhere? And it was just me fucking dropping them whenever they got too wet. That's so uh, I had to be there. Okay. Um, <laughs> get. Anyways. Get I realized why the world was ending like super as soon as we got to the cottage. Uh, it first started when we noticed there was heated floors in the kitchen. Oh my like, god! Oh, and a heated wow. We were literally seat. standing on the end of the world. This yeah. is crazy. And then I went to go shit, and the toilet seat is heated. There are people whose main like who put their brain power into producing. A toilet seat so I can get excited when I have to shit. That is the best beautiful. 
probably the best line of the weekend was us when we were all talking about the toilet seat. Mm-hmm. And then somebody was like, I thought it was a bidet. And I'm like, I thought it was a bidet too. And Logan's like, no, I have a bidet. That's not what it is. And then David Baron, he's like, you ever, you ever jerk off on the bidets on? <laughs> and then you, you just seem disgusted. I will be trying that by the way. We I did. just started jerking off like six months ago. Oh! So I, I, I will be trying that out. Baby. We didn't talk about that last podcast, did we? No, no, no. You jerking I, off? Yeah, I was trying to keep it under wraps. What's your method? What's that? My What's method? It? Yeah. I like to edge. That's I right. Like, you're telling me like that. I like edging. Yeah, I like edging. I like, edge I, I like doing the <laughs> I like doing the two hand thrusting motion because it it you know uh, I like doing one hand sometimes shake it up a little bit. Yeah. First time, maybe not the first time, um, but very early on, I went and I bought a sex toy. I bought a, uh, like, whatever, not to quote Caesar's bit and steal it from him, but the, the Soul Sucker 9000 or some shit. Mm-hmm. And I bought it before a gig in Alexandria. <coughs> and I drove to Alexandria, did the show. It was kind of a mediocre show, um, or at least my set was. And, uh, but there was this one girl who really liked me. And, like, but she had a boyfriend, and she, but she was very obviously flirting. And I was like, I'll... I'm not, I can't, like, I was in a relationship at the time, you know what I mean? But it's, it, the, the attention is nice. I was nice to her. Yeah. And the attention is really nice. And then, Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> it's a small room, man. It's a fucking small room. So, and this is where I think about Tom Segura's, like, you're n- no, no one can be as horny as men are, you know? Like, yeah. You know, that's where I think about this. Because I got that attention. I was like, God damn, I could have. And I'm like, no, but I'm a good guy. So I got in the car, started driving on the way home. And it's all just like, one, you know, you take take highway bumper to bump to highway boobity boo and then yeah. follow those down for 70 kilometers at a time. And in the front seat was this black bag that I got from the sex shop with Hell the Soul yeah. Sucker 9000 in it. Mm. And I <laughs> yeah. filled my need with the Soul Sucker 9000. I dropped the pants. Did you pull yeah. over? I No, I... <laughs> <laughs> I had cruise control on, and I have my oh oh my god. And my car has uh, lane detection, and I just fucking found a video, popped that sucker on the dangus, and just let it do its work. Let it do the Lord's work, honestly. Yeah. Honestly, let me tell you right now, fellas, get yourself the Soul Sucker Nine Thousand. Go to Wicked Wanda's, wickedwandas.com. I can't remember the name of this fucking thing. I have it in my car right now. What does it now. look like? What does it look like? Uh, it looks it looks like a like a spaceship. It looks like <laughs> looks like part of the spaceship. What you know when like uh, rockets are taking off, yeah. and then like the first bit falls off. It looks like that. How big is it compared to this bottle? Like this? it looks. You know. You know what it looks exactly like the fucking zoom recorder. Maybe Whoa. a little bit smaller than the zoom recorder, and where the the bottom end of the zoom recorder is, it's just a hole for your dick. A hole for your dick. And you push a button, and it's got 17, maybe more. Maybe more. I don't get past three. It's got 17, maybe more different vibration settings. And you just set that sucker, and you just kick back. Just kick back and wait. How much was it? $70? That's not bad. No, no. It was like very, very budget friendly. You impress me all the time. <laughs> I'm, it's crazy. I love that. Yeah. While driving. While driving. You couldn't think of you didn't think of pulling over. Did you think of pulling over? Nope. Nope. I was like, I gotta get home. I gotta get home. Was it distracting? Like No. I mean not anymore. I mean I, it was about as distracting as coming in your pants while driving could be. But uh no, no, because I like you know, but you've gotten roadhead before. Do you, right? Okay, you have to drive with one hand. I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I, you know, yeah. I so you, like the eyes are on the road, and this is all alleged, by the way. I didn't actually do any of this. Uh, yeah, so, this is about their weekend. This yeah, is about- yeah. This <laughs> is like their weekend. Yeah, but yeah, no, I, I, yeah, yeah, I did that, and uh, you know, because at, at the time things weren't really working out with uh, mm-hmm. my relationship, and we were kind of on the outs. And of course, when your relationship falls on the outs a little bit, usually the first thing to go is the sex life, and that's kind of what had happened. So. Did you, is, did you did you bought lube? Or does it- no, I mean I, you're supposed to. They're, they recommend it, but I mean I never, dude. I'd never. I, I don't. I don't jerk off. I'm still new to jerking off, so like it, it did not take much, honestly. A thing that I could just push a button and turn a vibration. Did you, not, on do you and not just need wait. lube for it? 
Do I? No, no, you don't need lube. You can just put it in dry. Yeah, dude, dude, you can I'll put be... it in soft, and it'll massage you hard. I've been. I'll be honest. Like, I don't have any toys. I don't use lube. I, I jerk off like a fucking caveman. Yeah, I do. I see. I like jerking off. I like doing it manually now because I have a. I have a mission. I like the edge because I like to. You know, I like to. You throw. want. You want that big nut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like. I, yeah, there's a lot of perks to edging. You know, the, mm. your orgasm is more intense. You fucking. You can last a little bit longer in the bedroom. Not that I'm in that that phase right now, but like. You know. give, give Logan like six months. We're gonna find him hanging in his apartment. Oh, okay. A lot of erotic I was like, I'm actually in a really good place right now. I'm in a much better <laughs> yeah, place than like, it was like a year ago. Yeah. Like, yeah. I just discovered lube. Like, no, I knew what it was, but I just like a year ago and how a hundred times, a thousand times better it is. Oh, it's amazing. Way better. It's amazing. Yeah. You don't have you tried lube? I don't think I've, no, I've never jerked off with lube. Have you? Tr okay. So, yeah, definitely 100%, 1,000 times percent better. Really? Yeah. I mean, the cleanup kind of sucks, but. I mean, yeah, but I can, I can I can see why it would be better. Yeah. Have you ever gotten roadhead? Yeah. What was your experience driving while getting, while getting head? It was ba bad because it was like BC windy roads. Mm-hmm. And it was like slow and stop and it was scary. It was terrifying. Dude, it, it is. But I wanted it not as much as she wanted it. She wanted to do it more than I wanted to do it. I'm like, this is very unsafe. See, my Imagine. situation was weird. We were, we were, there was two cars and we were parking smoking a joint. Like this is like fucking years ago. And the guy, we, were, we both knew this girl, but the guy had driven her there. And he was like, yo, man, give me some roadhead, girl. Ha, ha, ha. And she was like, eh, no. But then she got my car and gave it to me. And then she wanted to make sure that I told him. <laughs> that is hilarious. That's amazing. Yeah, you know, I'll take some spiteful roadhead. But I remember oh. I was in my little Lancer and I was, I had to put my seat all the way back. I wanted to have like a hand here to, you know, touch shit. Yeah. And it was just, it was so, I, 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 I it was hyped up. I thought it would be great. And then we were driving for like five minutes. I'm like, I just want to come. This is terrifying. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to do this. It the sc the scary. scared nut is the best nut. <laughs> like, ah! like that's the that's the best one. Uh, <laughs> true, but <laughs> says the uncle, yeah. eh? Says the uncle. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Billy, this is fun. We have a lull. What do we do? What do we talk about? Well, it was only for a second. Yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah, we can't possibly. Fucking have a keep lock. it going. Let's go. Don't ask. Don't look at me. I've already. We've talked about. It. I've opted out of being any help for this podcast. Danny, do you I've have anything? To, do you have anything to chime in, Danny? You motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> I what forgot. What the fuck is going on? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh man. Uh, anyways, uh, O'Canny Craft Distillery. Don't forget to go to Pe Pe Pembroke and get O'Canny Craft. Distillery. Is that? It's in Pembroke. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's he's, he's literally a five minute drive from uh, our other strip joker location, uh, which is uh, the pub house by Milano. Oh no, there's the pub house. He's not the we don't do the by Milano anymore. Sorry, Maddie. Oh, great venue. I fucking awesome love it there, place, man. man. I, fucking, I fucking I had so much fun there. I love I love playing music there. I like doing comedy there. There's never been a harder person to get a hold of and fucking lock in for dates than Matt Lemay. I swear to Christ, Maddie, if you're watching this, you know I love you so much. But what the fuck? Just answer your emails. All right, who else is Why really Why are your pupils us? so fucking big? My pupils are big? You want MDMA? No. It's just a look black at, thing. Look look at here. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. It's fine. Well, that's something really big. It's he just has normal... He doesn't have husky Hey, let's eyes. talk about more stuff that we can't pick up on the fucking podcast. Hey, how big are my pores, guys? Lovely. Yo! What? It's open. Reach, 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 in, reach in through the gate and unlock it. And then close it. Uh, all right, cool. All right. Danny will be here in a minute. Hopefully he fixes the lull. My ass. He's going to be so disappointed there's no alcohol. Hide that. <laughs> Hide that shit. No, get it. Logan, open yeah. your ass. Open my ass. Oh, dude, dude. That that's not how I want to relapse. How much does do you think you can take? What do you mean in the ass? Yeah, yeah, no, no it's close, but like I, I, of this bottle, like how much of this do you think you could? This much. You think yeah. you, up until here? Yeah, I, I could not get that far. Dude. Yeah, you could. Oh yeah, you could. No, 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 no,
Yeah, you could. I'm a, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm an anal virgin, dude. You could. Do you like? Do you think you'll ever have somebody touch your butt? Let me tell you something. If you, get, if you can get this far, no. If you can get this far, you can get this far. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Hey, what's good, dude? What's up, All right. How much of this can you take in your ass? Uh, how much? Of, like, like, how far do you think you could get this in your ass? I said this much. Probably that much. I just pretend this isn't here. Yeah, the metal thing is not there. Do I get to warm up? Yeah, of course. Yeah, you gotta warm up. You can't of just be sticking course. things in there. You have an belly. unlimited amount of time to get that in your ass. Yeah, yeah. We're, there's a lot of leeway here. And for every inch, you get 10, 10 grand. Oh, I'm fitting the whole fucking bottle in my ass. <laughs> that bottle's disappearing. I have to go in for emergency surgery. Okay. Yeah, and I'm I don't in know. the states, and I don't even care because I just made like a fucking hundred grand. Like, no, no, Canadian. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think this is what our sponsor meant. When uh, he, he wanted us to shout product. out the product, <laughs> is look at the bottle and go, yeah. How much of this? How much of this do you think you guys could fit in your ass? Use the hashtag Okenny Ass Play <laughs> to get fifteen percent <laughs> off your next order. Again, Okenny Craft Distillery. Ask for Andrew. Tell him I fit the whole thing. He'll know what you mean. Just drive up to Andrew right now and say, Hey, Andrew, I fit the whole thing. He'll know what you mean. Jacob, what do you? Tell me when. Tell me when on you. Okay, tell me when. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This Down is what it's like. Down to the wire entertainment, Daniel. baby. This is literally what it's like. See, boomers fantasize what they do if they won the lottery. Millennials fantasize about this, like, weird situation where someone's like, how, how many people would you murder for a million dollars It's because of Mr. Person? Beast. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah, he just, everyone wants Mr. Beast to be like, hey, would you do this for 10? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 10 bucks, 100%. Welcome back. Oh, Danny the Foreigner Meyer, everybody. Yeah. You mother fuck! Jackie Graham slash Caesar McCool slash Emily Vaz right there. Right there. Uh, you, freaking you, time is crazy, dude. You said it's 2015 to 20 minutes. Yeah. Like it's 645. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us about your past month. Tell us. Tell us. You have the floor. I don't I don't really want to associate the restaurant that I'm working at with, uh, <laughs> with this podcast. <laughs> it's a classy spot. Head chef now, making lots of money, but uh, also working lots of hours. Right on. It hurts. Right on. It hurts my butthole. That's why I'm thinking about this. I'm like, my ass is gaping from how much I've had my shit pushed in. Yeah, you'd just be able to just, just fucking drop fucking, it right in. Yeah, you could, I could lay down on the floor and just a little boop. You ever, you ever no seen resistance. the Iron Giant? Yeah, I've seen the Iron Giant. Remember, remember before the Giant wakes up when he drops the rock in his mouth and goes, clunk, clunk, clunk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That. That's, yeah. In that, his ass. In his asshole, yeah. Yeah. Worn and torn. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously though, how much? No, I just told you the whole thing. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. For ten guy in an inch, how many inches is that? Twelve? At least twenty-four. Twenty-four inches? Twenty-four inch? No, I'm joking. You work at a bong shop, dude. I know. You, you were definitely in. Uh, yeah, it's eight, baby. You were one of those guys, huh? No, you for sure no. were. Mm -mm. You for sure were. No, why? Well, then what's the I size? Think he was very honest. When I, well, I, I, at my weight right now, tell but, us what your cock looks like. It's fucking. I'm circumcised. I'm circumcised. No, push it against the rim. Straight, a little bit to the left, up. Uh, with the angle. When I was when I, at this weight right now, I'm probably about a six, six and a half. But when you're when you lose a lot of weight, you lose fat around the area, and it gets bigger. No, 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 no. Have you used a ruler? Not since like I was in eighth grade. Really? Back then, I was like six and a half. How do you know how long it is? So you just eyeball it and to do the circumference of your cock? Is that what you're talking I was told about? I had a nice circumference once. A nice circumference. Once. Yeah, yeah, once. Yeah. But that's not something you usually hear. But like when I'm like skinny, I'm 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 rocking like a seven, seven and a half. But you haven't measured it. But I could tell. I was told by the people who had been with me when I'm fat and when I was skinny. That like, yeah, yeah and they it, know? it's bigger. Yeah. They can't eyeball cock either, though. Like, that's why I'm not that's why I'm not giving you an exact measurement. It's somewhere in the realm okay. of like when I'm skinny, like seven to seven and a half. All right. All right. Yeah. What about you? Six. Kia? Yeah. yeah, six is the top for me. Six and a half, but I can Kia's got stamina. <laughs> Danny? I know be long, but fuck is it skinny. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking a. That's true. No, no, I believe it. I believe it. Yeah. No, I'm a chode for a, for a half black guy. Like it's funny. It's embarrassing. Hmm. Personality or dick? A little bit of both. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm better now. Personality wise, I'm better, Danny. 
Ooh. I'm just glad to know that we all have bigger dicks than Danny. Oh, for sure. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's, 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 not, the thunder. <laughs> that's not saying much. Then it gets the accent. He can have an accent and a big dick. That, that wouldn't be fair. Really fucking devolved to a bros cast now. Yeah, this is for sure a bros dicks. cast. Fuck. Before you came in, I was talking about my uh, first masturbatory experience with a toy, and it was. Uh, he started jerking off six months ago for the first time. Yeah, for the first time. He did. No, I'm proud of him. And now I'm a pro. I'm a seasoned. You were pro. super religious. What was jerking off for you like? Shameful. Shameful. Really? Shameful. Really? <laughs> yeah, I bet. It was probably like, damn. Would you actually like jerk off and be like, fuck, like I gotta pray. Like I gotta like repent. Oh, all the time. Really? Oh yeah. Hail but Marys and shit or Oh yeah, just like sitting there going, Why? Oh my god, I'm sin is taking over my life. <laughs> 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 gotta get the devil <laughs> out you. I the never... demons are in me. <laughs> do you feel bad after jerking off? Like do people say There like, have been times. I don't at all. You know what? I've it, never it was felt bad. When I was younger and I hadn't come out as bi yet, yeah. and I was watching anything that wasn't straight, yeah. I would feel like shameful. Oh, okay, okay. But like just for the sake for jerking off, I never really. I was like, wow, this feels fucking fantastic. Yeah. I got a fucking bad headache. I'm jerking off. I gotta get ready for my day. I'm jerking off. Celebratory jerk off. Sad jerk offs. It's, just, it's never a bad time to jerk off. No, I never post. I'm, the post night clarity is always like, ah, time to go back to work. Yeah. How many times there were the down of the wire entertainment guys just fucking let one off in that bathroom on a stressful day of editing? Look at that. Boom. <laughs> boom. It's, 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 it clears the head. Did Absolutely. you feel shameful when you started? No. Not, yeah. Not at all. Not at all. No, because I was, I was very much like I have a demon in me that needs to go if I'm, this is going to work. And then it ended up not working out. So okay. I just got a head start. That's all. <coughs> Yeah, I don't like I don't I don't see the work thing. I don't like jerking off anywhere like near, during, or like, around when I have to go to work. I find yeah. the frustration helps. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Just like get just... the get the rage going. Yeah, yeah. You throw on some fucking run the jewels and then you just whoosh, fucking onions. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, you when can't you get touch to... your cock after that. No. And you get to like onion sixty five, that's when yeah. you really like fucking fuck, you yeah. need the rage. Yeah, yeah. Now, are you a rock when you cut, or are you fucking... Oh, speed, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish the green rooms had, like, a private room you could drink off in. Green sure. rooms? Like, in fucking in comedy, comedy clubs? clubs? Yeah, dude, before just before... Yeah, just like, oh, yeah, the next comedian's up. I got eight minutes. Let's crank this out. And just as, the, uh, just as you're calling your name, you're literally putting your belt back on, <laughs> and you're getting on stage. <laughs> How we doing? <laughs> and you're just so fucking smooth with it, I bet, dude. Ah. Oh. Oh, that's or awesome. or not? Maybe you're like, <sighs> no, it's true, dude. Because like, do you ever lock eyes with like a hot chick? And in... Jesus Christ, you ever lock eyes with an attractive woman? In, uh... <laughs> in... frat boy Logan came out there for a second, and I, I had to fucking bury him back down. You, you misogynistic know? I had to... piece of shit, dude. I had to fucking bury him down. That so was... you seen a fine bitch? What are you doing? You ever see a fat pair of tits in the audience? <laughs> and you're like, shit, bro. I hope she don't see me bomb, and then you bomb your dick off. <laughs> then you bomb your dick off. It sucks. You but I wouldn't be worried Patrice. about that. I wouldn't be worried about that if I fucking busted a nut, cr if I crusted a nut right before going on stage. I'd just get up and I'd be, I'd be one of those guys that like touches the sign. I'd be like, oh. anybody from out of town? I'd be one of those fucking guys. You know, <laughs> anybody, anybody here from out of town? <laughs> yeah. What do you do for a living? Well, that's boring. Like, yeah, I'd be one of those fucking crowd work motherfuckers. If you busted a nut before going, if on I busted stage? a nut right before, yeah, it would not be in my head whatsoever. Oh shit. But I lock as soon as I lock eyes with an attractive, even if I'm not, I'm not even going to approach this woman or anything. You just you lock eyes with an attractive woman, and she's doing this, and then you're like, "Fuck! I hope this next joke makes her laugh." And then you deliver the joke, and you look back, and everybody's laughing, and then you look back, and the, this smile is now this smile, and that's it's just not a good time. Damn no, yeah. no. The that's less I'm, the the more in my head I am, the worse I do. Really? So yeah, that post on will. Yeah, yeah. yeah see, that's what I'm talking about, man. So, so this is a, a tip for comedy clubs. If you want to be successful, just add a little, add a little. We'll call it the red room. We okay, got one, the green room. We'll add the red like, room in the back. Have like a private bathroom or something, or like a family bathroom. Yeah, yeah. A lockable. It's got its own Wi-Fi. You can call it something cute, like the chamber. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. Yeah, this guy gets it. Fuck yeah. yeah. The I chamber. Fucks with, I fucks with the chamber. The white room. The chamber. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't. I think, I think it's much better. Just get a couple of drinks and you smoke a cigarette. 
get loose that way. Yeah. Yeah. That little bit of fucking aggression when you like see a hot chick, and you're like, oh, she better laugh at this. If it doesn't work, you just pull that line out that you use all the time. You look at her boyfriend and go, oh, sir, you're gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. I do do yeah. that quite a bit. I, I had to, know. when I started hosting clubs, I had to stop that because like people don't, if you're not in a degenerate open mic, people don't like when you say you're going to smell their seat after they get up. <laughs> <laughs> people don't like Dude, that. Dude, you know what? When we did it's Bingo hilarious. last two weeks ago, uh, the guy was there with his girlfriend. And she remembered us from comedy night. Yeah. And, you're like, and she's like, oh, you're the guys who called my boyfriend handsome. Oh, he loved it. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. awesome. Cool. Good. All right. Well, yeah. then maybe I'll go back to telling people that I smell their seeds. Fuck it. Fuck it. Dude, it's, that's hilarious. Yeah, it's pretty funny. It's pretty funny. I've never seen a bomb, but I also don't ever go to the clubs. Yeah. So. And you know what? Honestly, like after doing one weekend at Yucks, I'm way more... Like, it's always the first one where you're like, fuck, I hope this goes well. I want to continue to get work. I want to continue. And then after doing it, I'm like, okay, I'm just going to fuck around the next time I do it. Because clearly, like, it, you just, you're just grasping to try and get, especially at the, the, the Marriott location. It's just, they're so, like, you know. You well, just... it's not set up for comedy, right? The Marriott location is set up for, like, corporate office meetings. The new and... space is better. The, it's it is the, infinitely the, the, the narrow the like yeah. closet that they shove you in yeah, yeah it's much better than the the big space was but uh, yeah fuck still it. it's not there's nothing nothing that quite gets me in the mood to laugh than buying my drinks from a cart and paying 15 bucks for a Coors Light bottle mm. I will say Biagio's though Biagio's is it's great, great yeah, Biagio's is yeah. fucking amazing uh yeah I, the first time I got a weekend opening spot is the first time that I performed in front of my boss and, or the comedy club owner and did not give a fuck. I chugged a beer on stage. You were there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't even... It wasn't even the greatest show. Like, it wasn't even a great show. It was a mediocre whatever. But I ch- And I just didn't care. And then I got... The, after that, I got the first weekend spot. I'm like, I need to stop caring about it all. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, 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 that's what you got to do. I mean, fuck. That's, that's what I'm trying to do now. Just, just be looser. Be more myself. Ever since, especially since that No Forks Given host, that was, uh, I got, I got high praise for that one. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Which, which was awesome. So now I'm just going to be. Yeah. You made a university kids laugh. That is crazy. Yeah. It's kind of insane. They, yeah. They're, I mean, they're horrible. They're a horrible audience. Oh, normally. Yeah. So that's, uh, that's fucking I, well, I asked, I asked Logan if he wanted a spot. I said, I got, I, I got a spot for you tonight. He said, oh, sweet. I'm down. Where? I said no force given. He said, ha, "Nope, <laughs> like, not doing that." I've done that show like three times, and each time it's like, it's just brutal, like pulling of teeth type of stuff. Like to the point where you're like, I, "What am I? am not working anything. I'm doing like I'm now doing the tried and true material to like to try and get these people to laugh. I'm not even I'm not working new shit right now. I'm I'm doing like regular stuff that I normally do in order to get these people. Like, what am I doing? Is it to feel more comfortable in a bomb? I am fine bombing. <laughs> Like yeah. I'm, I've did it. I've done enough Ralph's shows. I am okay. I don't take it fucking the too most personally anymore. Ralph's thing happened on Kia's birthday. Kia was like, we, we were just fucking around. I was a little late. I had a really busy day. I got back from a tattoo, and Kia was just fucking around. But Kia was drunk, which was amazing. And there was this woman in the back who was yelling the most insane racist shit when the one black comedian got on stage. Right. Like, what? When when Kenneth got on stage? Was I even around for his beginning? She yelled KKK all day. No. Yeah. I didn't even know that. Yeah. And she was this white woman from Germany. She was older, like in her 50s. And then when I got on, I just spent my time just fucking roasting the shit out of her. Jesus Christ. And uh, show's over. We're just sitting around having drinks. She comes up to me and gives me a hug and says, by the way, I think you're really hot. And I was like, well, maybe our paths cross again someday. That's you know the little so Ralphs. She walks, she's going to walk out. She walks past the bathrooms. And she, she leaves. And then Chris, the bartender, was like, she pissed on the fucking floor. Yeah. We're huh. like, what? He showed us the footage, dude? She walks past the bathrooms. And, and uh, on the Fat Albert side, just looks around, squats, and just pisses. And she had two other friends looking at her laughing. I gotta be completely honest, and you know this this gets me banned from Ralph's. Oh well, that's on them at that point. Like at the KKK all day thing, that's that's a kick them out type yeah, of that's situation. Yeah, that's wild. I so don't know that her they pissing said on that. the floor, yeah. that's on them. Honestly, yeah. like she should have been fucking cut off at that point and out of there. But 
But that's why what did happened. nobody fucking just? <laughs> that's wild. Yeah. So that's, that's Kenneth just kind of rolled with it. Okay. Yeah, that's a Ralph six. That's <laughs> like on the on <laughs> yeah. the ten, one being uh, and ten being and fucking she was, crazy. And she, and that's she a was six. a Ralph's like seven. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's wild. uh You you almost got into a fight with a white dude because yeah, he yeah. didn't like your material about being a half black. Yeah, yeah. I yes, I was like, yeah, yeah. I, I don't even remember what that because it's not a joke that I do anymore. But I was talking about being half black, and the guy was like, "Yo, you're not black, dude. Come through." Man. Like come through, step outside and come through, and I was like, "What? Like I'm not gonna fight." Also, I, like, I'll never fight anyone. Like I, I, I will always be. I'll be like, "Oh yeah, man, for sure." Like I think I'm gonna. You think I'm that type of guy? No, I'm calling the police every time. I'm fucking. I think, I fucking I, so take dude takes a swing at me. I will fucking dodge it and be like a oh, cops. Like you know, there's a black guy here. Like you know, I fucking. And then they won't know it's me. So. Fucking, <laughs> <laughs> Shit! You've never been in a fight? No, I'm I'm really nice to people. Want to fight? No. What? Well, let's fight. Oh, Logan. I want one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Logan, we'll coach you through it. Yeah. All you gotta do is just run in circles until yeah. Liam gets winded. Yeah. And then pounce. Yeah. And then I gotta hit him in the back three times, and then yeah. he explodes into coins, and I go, <laughs> "Yes, cool." <laughs> Nailed it. Yeah. Perfection. So if but, our next challenge was a boxing match, no? I Yeah, no, I could do that. I could do that. I could Sick, do a okay. Because I really want to do comedians fighting each other. And then the winner stands over the other guy and roasts them. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, imagine winning, but then bombing. Like, imagine, like, knocking yeah. somebody out and then being like, yeah, the, that's that's what you... Pussy, that's what you get. Like, <laughs> no, you have to write it out. You have yeah. to write it out before. But it'd be funny if you're so dazed, you fuck your jokes up yeah, and yeah, bomb. Yeah, that'd be yeah. Are, we, are we boxing or wrestling or MMA? Bo- boxing. What would we do? Boxing? boxing. Boxing. I feel like I don't know how easy it's going to be to get comedians to. Because like, no, six good, months of training. Uh, you need, yeah, but you need to wrestle Caesar. Can like knock somebody's huh? teeth. Caesar said he wrestled the fuck out of you on the last boxing. podcast. It's gloves. You don't knock teeth out with those kind of gloves. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah. The sixteen ounce gloves. The sparring gloves. The money maker. I just want to fucking. Bro, you wouldn't even get a black eye. I could hit you as hard as I could straight in the eye socket, and you wouldn't even get a black eye. Oh, that's right. You used to fight, eh? Yeah. 16 ounce gloves, sparring gloves. It's really hard to actually hurt someone with them. Hell yeah. All right, cool. You can knock them out, though, still. Cool. No, you got to hit it like clean, clean on the chin, knuckles out, like one little spot. It's literally like getting hit in the head with a pillow. Okay. Wow. Yeah. They usually fight with 10 or 12 ounce gloves, depending on organization but yeah. the 16 ounce barring gloves that's what you hit the heavy bags with yeah 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 They're, right you're fine everybody's gonna be fine okay Bye. yeah but six months of training we uh we get who we think should go together and then the other person stands over the other person and just starts roasting them yeah yeah we gotta get all the guys with formal training out of there because joey morenci will kill us all oh joey morenci would fucking destroy he will kill us all joey have i met a joey yeah yeah he's, he's, he's done he had a kid yeah, yeah, he doesn't really do it much he anymore. He hit a kid? No, no, no. He had, had a, kid. a kid. Oh, he had yeah, a kid. His wife had a kid. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Shouts out to Click MMA, a gym that they just opened up over on the Gatineau side. I hope Joey's doing well. If he yeah. watches this. Yeah, he's a good guy. Click MMA. K L I Q. Shit, so I can't join a gym until we do that, eh? Yeah. yeah. But Or like until we start, then you can join a gym. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, I mean, it's not set in stone. We still got to do the fucking. We still got to do the first. We have two challenges now. We have no, to get but it. yeah, yeah. What's the second one? Isn't the second one the. The one that we can't talk about on air, the OnlyFans one. Oh yeah. Yeah. We can we not? Why can't we talk about it on Just air? Just give it maybe one or two more episodes before we fucking get. It's still it's still. Throw the suspense, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Is that what we're doing? Okay, fine. It's it's. And you gotta you yeah 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 you have some Fantastic stuff to figure out. Fantastic idea. Worst case, it's just you and I again. Right. But, right. Yeah. On Liam. <laughs> 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 Reading from the book, like. <laughs> Yeah. Do the fucking Katrina on that. Yeah, the Hurricane Katrina and then Fair the enough. Antichrist. Why is it called the Antichrist? Oh, because you just do it opposite. opposite. You do counterclockwise. Oh, just call it counterclockwise. No, Fuck. it's dumb. <laughs> All right. All right. God, have some fucking flair. All right. Yeah. It's, it's true, actually. You know what? Yeah. He's right. He's yeah. right. A book about eating pussy. I would not want regular <laughs> ass names. This is the second time you've agreed with him. This is crazy. Yeah. Absolutely wild. Yeah, I'm, I I'm, heard uh, you put your toe in his mouth on the last podcast. So I did. I did. I yeah. see the two of you are getting along well. Yeah. Very, yeah. very, very well. Yeah. yeah. Could not be better, actually. Yeah. We're doing very well. 
<laughs> Have you been taking your 5 HCP? <laughs> oh, those little brown capsules you gave me? Jesus. I had the first dose. That's a no. And then I forgot. The first dose that I gave you the first time? Yeah. Oh, okay. I was like micro feeling? dosing. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling oh hard. shit, okay, it's just me. Are you micro dosing? What's this? No, it's from our weekend. 5 oh. HCP is a uh mood balancing um like yeah, the chemical uh, or pill you take for after MDMA to uh mm. just kind of regulate that dopamine drop. Have you guys already talked about the weekend? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah we oh, did. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. We're, right. we're 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 at seven o'clock. All right. I um, wish I wish I was there. Yeah, yeah, it was fucking. Yeah. It was ten out of ten. I wanted to be like all the other guys that came out of the whip and go. What the fuck? <laughs> I wanted that. I wanted that for you. And I had to cook for people, and I made a bunch of wet beef. It was good. Yeah. Fajitas. <laughs> we had fajitas. A lot of yeah. Smell like beef. I smell like beef. <laughs> yeah. He's good. He's good. Yeah. I ate uh, two whole chickens when I was there. It was a good time. Have you, like, what would you say about your muscle, muscle like mass? Has it gone up within oh, the month? Oh, for sure, for sure. Okay. I've hit. I've I've been one sixty now for like maybe three weeks. No, no, not that long. Maybe. Wait, maybe where like were you before? One and a half weeks. I was one. So I was one sixty five. Okay. I got down to one sixty after the first week of just like whatever, and yeah. then I. But I've stayed one sixty even though I'm still only eating like. Oh, so you're losing weight but gaining muscle? Yeah. yeah okay. Okay. Yeah. And it's like. <laughs> I, I love my personal trainer. I think he's fucking insane. But he, he was like, he's not natural. And was saying to me, he's like, and if you like, if you want to try, you just got to let me know. Like, and I'll tell you the proper way to like cycle. And I'm like, I'm just tr trying to win a competition. <laughs> like, I'm just, I'm not going back to like, I think this is probably a, a life changing thing. Are you me. really going to count your chicken every fucking no, time? No, okay. Cause not. that's I'm, I'm, so unsustainable. I'm, I'm going to stick with like the, like the proper macros and yeah, everything, yeah. but I'm definitely going to like lighten up. For sure. Okay. I'm just trying to, especially these last two weeks, I'm just trying to hammer it home. Like, you know. I messaged your personal trainer. I messaged his personal trainer after he posted him and tagged him. And I messaged him. I'm like, hey, I will give you $100 to give Logan Brown the worst advice he's ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch didn't message me back. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. I hope you see this. You know? It could have been 200 We could have negotiated. But that's fine. God, I've not been eating He's healthy. fucking Too great, depressed. man. He's great. Because he knows, like... I, the second I walked in there and told him the plan, he was like, "All right, we're just gonna work on the show muscles." Then he's like, yeah. "I'll teach you. I'll teach you how to pose if you want. I'll teach you whatever you need. I'm not gonna learn how to pose because I think we talk about it. It'd be yeah. a little too douchey. Yeah, if, if, I'm try, yeah. if I'm trying to win, like the audience. Yeah, the audience over going up there and being like, <laughs> be a little, little much. But yeah, man, he's fucking. He's great. Sick. Great. Okay. Yeah. Well, we have like a ten days for that. Yeah, yeah. All right, sweet. Yeah, yeah. Right. strip joker, baby. October strip. 27. October 28th. 28th. October 28th, we do have a strip joker. Get tickets your tickets. Are fucking flying. It's awesome. Yeah. But yeah, we and recommend it. it. It's if the you show bomb, new. If you bomb the show, or if you bomb your jokes, you have to take off your clothing. And yeah, we're going to get us. We're actually going to get a deal with a strip club soon. So that's exciting. Oh, fuck yeah. yeah. Looking forward to it. But for now, it's at Live on Elgin. Shouts out to John for having us. But we've sold out every single time we've done it there. It's a great time. You don't want to miss it. Ruckus, baby. Honestly, shout That's out Ruckus, to, baby. Shout out to Down to the Wire for having us. And uh, thank you, old Kenny's Crafts, for the alcohol. Thank yeah. you very much. Uh, suck and fuck you later. All right. Yeah, follow us. Uh, sorry. But we'll do the fourth. It's fucking sign. Everybody's signing off now. Uh, follow us on all social media at Ruckus Productions. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe. If you haven't already subscribed, subscribe. If you're watching this, uh, click the notification bell. Like. Leave a comment. All that good shit. Uh, at Big Nasty L six one three, at Logan doing stuff. K at Kia Mazar. K A M A Z A R. At Danny the Foreigner. Perfect. And suck and fuck you later. Bye. Ah, thank God. Jesus. That was the hardest. I love these, but not today. I was hard. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs>
Are you doing any shows tonight? Not tonight. I'm going home. I got to clean. I got to edit clips. Fuck yeah. Yeah. What are you doing? Uh, it's mom's birthday. Oh. We should play. I leave him. He won't be missed. Suck and fuck uh. you later. <laughs> I was waiting for you to turn it off first, dude. You have no idea how hard it was fighting back fucking tears. <laughs> fucking tears in my eyes, my guy.